So I haven't done a wallet creation kind of video in a very long time and a new wallet has actually kind of been the new kid on the block called Shadow. And I've been wanting to try this wallet out because it reminds me a lot of Phantom. And if you guys don't already know Phantom, it's probably one of the biggest apps on Solana as a wallet. And they're now multi-chain and Phantom is doing super well and I like their UI and design. And Shadow gives me a lot of the same features. So I will be showing you firsthand how easy it is to start with Shadow and I'll bring you through the whole process of what they offer. And then at the very end, I'll rate it to how I think it will help normal people or people that have been in crypto for a while. Okay, so when you first download it on the Chrome extension, this is the homepage it looks like. So we have two options already. That's pretty standard. We have create a new wallet or already sign in with a wallet you already have. So obviously we're gonna go for create new wallet. And the biggest part is passwords. I do suggest using NordPass. It's a fantastic application to have encrypted passwords, plus generate randomness. So your passwords can be even more secure to make you safe and your crypto safe. Okay, when you put in your random password, uh, then you'll just hit generate. And from there, we'll see how easy it is. So it looks like the first thing we have to do is create a account name. So you can obviously call it whatever you would like. So for this video, I'll just be calling it the shadow wallet, obviously number one. And last but not least, you'll be doing your seed trays right here. Then we'll hit finish and we move on. So they also give the option to follow them on X. I do highly suggest if you're ever downloading a wallet, always follow them on Twitter, Discord, or Telegram. And just to let you guys know, uh, Shadow Wall is currently only available for desktop. So you're only able to really use it honestly on your desktop and they don't have a mobile app on Google Play or Apple Store. So this is my first time opening Shadow Wallet. So you're seeing everything live reaction of how I see the wallet. It's very standard. I like the UI. I think it's simple and clean. I'm always a big fan of simple and clean UI. So let's look at the top left corner where basically is the spinning wheel or mainly where the settings are at. So we have our first wallet right here and then you're able to export your private key and then also show your recovery phrase so that's pretty standard i think that's very easy to see so so far so good okay so this is interesting so this is where it actually shows you your full address and not bad so far um, i do also love the qr code i think qr codes are fantastic with onboarding people because it just makes it so much easier to scan a qr code and obviously i love sweet ns or sweet name service where you're able to actually just do at trevin versus nft or at trevin's pineapple mic and then go from there so we'll just be going back. And then from here, you're also able to rename your account. So honestly, I think this wallet is super simple so far and I like it. So next we'll see what the buy, send and receive will look like. So if we hit on buy, this was the thing I was hoping for. So they did add this. So they added MoonPay. So with MoonPay, you're actually able to buy currency, Sui for example, with your credit card, Apple Pay, or even a wire transfer, which personally I probably wouldn't do. I think Apple Pay and card is probably the best way to do this. So I think this is a fantastic feature to buy Sweet if you don't have anything on the account. I would love to see this on more wallets as I think it really helps onboard the normies. And then it's just so much easier, but you're also able to have get stashed and people just send you Sweet no matter what. So I think over time, Sui and Shadow Wallet will actually keep pushing people to enjoy the benefits of Web3. So then if we just click on send, it looks pretty standard. Um, then from there, we would basically just put in the mount. We would put in at whatever Sui name or the actual address and hit next. And then so receive. So instead of going to the settings tab, all I have to do is hit receive and it does the same image where it shows you the address plus the QR code. Next will basically be the middle tab or basically where you have all your digital assets, mainly NFTs. So there's also some DeFi protocols like Sweeland. When you're actually staking on their platform, they'll show you how much DeFi you have 
in this tab and they turn it into an NFT to show you how many points you're earning per day. I think it's really cool to see dynamic and NFTs and Sweet is going to dominate that more and more and more. So we'll go to the last tab, we'll see what there is. So right here, this will basically be the tab to show activity of what transactions have already been done. Obviously there's nothing on this wallet so far. It is a fresh brand new wallet for today's video. So I think that's it. Let me see what anything else. So there is add an account which obviously if you wanna have multiple accounts on here, I do suggest having one to two wallets with two to three wallets on there. So you can never be safe with your assets, but later on I will be doing a full video on a new cold storage wallet that is coming to SWE. And I think a lot of people will be excited about this video because cold storage wallet locks everything down like you have your funds in a vault and someone has to break in and it is very, very, very difficult. And one last thing, I know modes are a huge thing for wallets and I fully agree. Do you want light mode or dark mode? So you're actually able to swap here and there and it's super easy to do. So all I have to do is go on the left hand side, click on the wheel again and at the very bottom we'll hit change theme. And from here you're able to do the light mode or the dark mode and it's just so simple. And that's about it. I would probably rank the wallet four out of five. Probably I would give it a five if they did have a explore down here at the very bottom. I think having a explore with the top apps like Sui Wallet does is kind of a must. I feel like it's good to have verified links to certain web application or D apps already in the wallet itself so you don't have to go to different websites to make sure it is the correct one okay well that is the review of shadow wallet thank you everyone for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and definitely go check out them if you haven't already try the wallet out see what you think and definitely let me know down below how you enjoy shadow wallet well my name is trevin or trevin versus nft and i will see you in web3